On entering the site, all vehicles are directed to the Waybridge where vehicle and load details are recorded. On leaving the Waybridge, vehicles are directed to the Tipping Hall. On arrival at the Tipping Hall entrance, a traffic light system indicates when it is safe for the vehicles to enter. Vehicles then discharge their load in the Tipping Hall and exit via the door opposite. The waste received in the Tipping Hall is then fed into the primary shredder feed hopper. The waste is then conveyed into the fuel preparation area. Here, the waste is separated by size into three streams. The first being the fines fraction, which is sent for further processing. From the other two streams, recyclates such as metals, glass, dense plastics and aggregates are sorted and separated, ready to be sent for reprocessing. The resultant waste left after this process is what is commonly known as an RDF, refuse derived fuel. But at this stage, it still contains a considerable amount of moisture. The wet RDF is then either discharged into the wet RDF storage bay, or fed directly into a band dryer where the RDF is dried to a lower moisture content using heat recovered from the downstream gas plasma process. From the dryer, the RDF is fed to a vibrating floor storage system which regulates the feed of RDF to the gasifier. The gasifier uses oxygen and steam instead of air as the fluidizing medium. Within the gasifier, partial oxidation of the RDF takes place producing a crude synthesis gas, syngas, that still contains condensable hydrocarbons or tars. This crude syngas together with the leftover solids from the gasifier bed, are fed into the plasma converter. The plasma arc in the converter produces a very high temperature and emits intense ultraviolet light that both fully crack the remaining long chain hydrocarbons to produce a very clean syngas and vitrify the inorganic bed material which is continually drawn off in a molten state and is known as plasma rock. Plasma rock is mechanically strong environmentally stable and approved by the Environment Agency as a secondary aggregate product. The hydrogen-rich Syngas exits the plasma converter at around 1200 degrees centigrade. The Syngas is then cooled to around 200 degrees centigrade by passing it through a waste heat boiler where useful heat in the form of steam is generated. The cooled Syngas is then processed through conventional gas cleaning equipment to remove any remaining acid gases and other contaminants. The clean syngas is then suitable for direct use in highly efficient gas engines or turbines to produce power, which is exported into the national grid. Alternatively, the gas can be used to produce biosubstitute natural gas, hydrogen or other biofuels. Finally, all vehicles exit the site via the Waybridge where all documentation and records are completed.